Respect, Aretha Franklin, The Queen of Soul, by Carol Boston Weatherford, illustrated by Frank Morrison. Blessed, cradled by the church, rocked by an ebony sea, Aretha says a little prayer each night on bended knee. Detroit, the Franklins move north from Memphis, Tennessee. They put down roots and rise like a mighty tree. Music, hand clapping gospel, the Franklins pedigree. Parents, children praise the Lord in stirring harmony. Strife. Clarence and Barbara Franklin can't seem to agree. Daddy wasn't faithful, so Mama chose to flee. Gifted. Young, gifted, black Aretha hears a melody. Then she plays the tune by ear, plinking perfectly. Example. Her preacher father fights for rights in his community. Other leaders visit to voice a common plea. Talent. Young Aretha's solos soar with artistry. Her wise father senses his daughter's destiny. Debut. Fourteen, recording live and nervous as can be. She cuts a gospel album, gives God the victory. Voice. Aretha's voice resounds with color and clarity, spanning three plus octaves. The maestros all agree. Groove. Aretha finds her groove when she's rocking R&B. No woman of her time has more chart toppers than she. Right. For the civil rights movement for racial equality, Aretha raises funds and gives concerts for free. Someday we'll all be free. Great. Aretha's crowned as Queen of Soul, our own royalty. She wins awards and accolades and more than one degree. Proud. When the first black president is sworn into history, the queen rejoices with, My country tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty. Humble. Aretha tours her queendom from sea to shining sea. But in Detroit, down to earth, she's known just as Riri. Respect. The Queen of Soul blessed us with a golden legacy, but she would probably call it the gift that God gave me.